Los Angeles, but the sun is coming up, so that's definitely going to set the mood and make it a great day for us here. We don't have any rain or wind really at the basin, but if you live in the valley spot, you may be noticing some of that. So we are going to be following some wind here in a second. Do you want to get to those cold temperatures, though, from now through about 8 a.m.? We've got below uh, freezing temperatures. Close to that, though, for you in deserts, uh, we got Lancaster and Palmdale with a hard freeze warning and a freeze warning for you in the mountains of L.A. County. Um, this is all because those temperatures have dropped rapidly. Again, the dry air allows that to happen. And across the area, here you go, 25 Lancaster, 28 Victorville, Inland Empire temperatures, even in the 30s right now for San Bernardino and Temecula. So that just shows that things have chilled. And this afternoon, what to expect? Well, another day similar to yesterday, dry, 71 in L.A. We are going to get to about 69 in the valleys and Inland Empire, still staying cool over the deserts and mountains at 57 and 42. All right, I'll take a look at that uh, wind for you here coming up, and we're going to watch for the chance of rain this week in your seven-day forecast. Lots to talk about. We'll send it back to John. Thanks, Shauna. Back to our breaking news at a bellflower. At least two people are dead after this horrific crash happened just after 2 a.m. along Lakewood Boulevard and Park Street. We're told the driver of a Ford Expedition crashed into that gray Kia, killing two people inside that car. There was also a third victim that was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Unclear exactly what happened leading up to the crash, but we do know the driver of the Ford suffered minor injuries. We'll continue to follow the updates and bring you the latest as we learn more. New video shows bystanders helping to hold a suspected DUI driver accused of hitting and killing a mother and her son in Westlake. Police say 64-year-old Alicia Bautista and 33-year-old Elio Bautista Jr. were killed by an alleged drunk driver speeding down Wilshire Boulevard Sunday night. This video shows a group of bystanders later okay, cornering okay. the man allegedly behind the wheel at the time. Authorities have identified the driver as 31-year-old Isaiah Villegas, but we have blurred the man's face in the videos. Police have not verified his identity just yet. The person filming is heard saying in Spanish, quote, he killed those people. I'm so grateful that the workers who were there stopped him and didn't let him go until the cops arrived. The police say Villegas ditched the car and ran to a nearby shopping center where the video was taken. He was later arrested on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter. The family is set to host a fundraiser there this morning near the intersection to help pay for medical bills and funeral arrangements. That starts at 9 o'clock this morning. Traffic on the freeway helped bring a high-speed pursuit to an end last night. Take a look at this chase caught by camera, caught by our camera on News Chopper 4. CHP was following a suspected DUI driver across multiple cities and freeways before ending on the 405 freeway near Inglewood. Police initially responded to reports of a drunk driver around 10 o'clock in the city of Bell. After the driver refused to stop and CHP took over, the driver reached speeds of more than 130 miles an hour. The man was forced to surrender with a passenger in tow when they hit all that traffic. No word on what exact charges he may face. Through today. And that includes NBC Force Tracy Leon, who traveled to LAX this morning with an update on those conditions out there. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, good morning, John. As you remember, we were out here on Thanksgiving morning just four days ago, and I can tell you, compared to that day, it is a lot busier this morning. When we arrived, even the traffic coming in, take a look. We are the United Check-In section where the lines are not too long. People are moving smoothly. They're able to check into their flights. And then we have the check-in, the self-check-in kiosk where there seem to be several free, so it's not too crowded there. And just down the way, that's the TSA line. And as we drove by we saw that people were able to move through they weren't being delayed having to wait